So now we're going to look at stir frying as a cooking method. You can stir fry beef or pork, but today we're going to use chicken. And we're going to make a chicken with lime and ginger stir fry. Here we have two fillets, which have been finely shredded. When buying chicken, look for fillets, which are plump and firm to the touch and not wet looking. Some chicken may look wet, it may look sticky and it may look slimy. Really try and avoid buying chicken that looks like that. We also have one green chilli, which has been de-seeded and finely chopped. We have one tablespoon of Thai fish sauce. We also have the juice of one lime and also the finely grated zest. We have one clove of garlic crushed and also a two centimetre piece of ginger, which has been finely grated. We then have six spring onions, which have been finely shredded and about four tablespoons of fresh coriander, which has just been picked off the stalks. Finally, we have 150 ml of coconut milk, which is about five fluid ounces. So the first stage of making this dish is to marinate the chicken. Let's just move these ingredients to the side. And in this bowl, all I'm going to do is place the shredded chicken and we're going to pour over the lime juice and lime zest. Mix this thoroughly. So now we've added the lime juice and lime zest, we'll also add our crushed garlic clove and our grated ginger. Thoroughly mix that in too. And then set your chicken aside to marinade for about half an hour. Alternatively though, you can leave it longer and leave it overnight if you want to. So now we're ready to stir fry our chicken. It's been marinating for about half an hour. And as you can see, it's gone quite pale in color. That's nothing to worry about. That's just the acid in the lime juice starting to cook the chicken. So we need to turn on our wok. If you don't have a wok, you can use a heavy base frying pan, but a wok is better. And we need to let this heat up. I'm going to use olive oil. Equally, you can use ground nut oil or vegetable oil or sunflower oil, whatever takes your fancy. I'm going to put approximately a tablespoon in the wok and allow that to heat up. Once you think the pan's hot enough, you can always test one piece of chicken to ensure that it is. And that pan's hot enough, so I'm just going to add in all the chicken. Use a spoon to break all the chicken up. And move the chicken around the pan to ensure it's cooking evenly. As you can see, the chicken's starting to take out to all go white in colour and some pieces are beginning to caramelise. Once, there, the, once there's no trace of pink on the outside of the chicken, you're ready to add your chilli and cook for a further 30 seconds to one minute. This just stops you having a raw chilli taste. That's had about 30 seconds. So we'll add our Thai fish sauce, our coconut milk, half of our spring onions and half of our fresh coriander.
cook for another 30 seconds until the spring onion wilts a little and the same happens to the coriander. You can now serve this with noodles and scatter over the rest of the spring onion and the coriander. So now we've cooked our stir fry and turned it off and now we're going to serve it with some noodles and I've prepared some earlier. All you need to do is spoon over the stir fry, making sure you've got lots of the sauce with the coconut milk. And then finish by sprinkling over some of the remaining spring onions and some of the remaining coriander. So there we go, chicken, ginger and lime stir fry.